Now that I feel like we have the Infinimus Necromancer in a really, really good spot, I realize something on the wand version of the build where you're looking to basically prioritize X Falls proccing as often as possible that I had overlooked for a little while because you know what? Obviously it makes sense, right? You're gonna use flowing veins on any Infinimus build. It says you deal 60% increased damage over time. Except we don't really care about our damage over time. In fact, there are so many stronger vampiric powers that you basically overlook when you think that you need to lock in metamorphosis as well as flowing veins that really start getting pretty wacky with the different things you could put on the build. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. While looking through the vampiric powers, I started to ask questions that I hadn't asked previously. How important is each individual skill on this build? And am I currently building it the strongest, and most optimized way possible? And that's when I started thinking about an oldie but a goodie, an absolute legend, a best in slot skill option, and that's Reap. Reap is obviously phenomenal. Reap says that every four seconds it generates a corpse, and the fact that we're using Ring of the Sacrilegious Soul means that we want to be generating as many corpses as possible. But Reap isn't the best option for generating corpses. That's actually Decompose. Decompose now generates corpses every 1.5 seconds, and if you're using the rotting aspect, that means you could be generating it across multiple targets every 1.5 seconds, and generate additional corpses. There's one little problem. Decompose doesn't work. Or better yet, it works super good, but also it's completely broken. Let me go ahead and jump into some gameplay so I can kind of ramble on and you got something to watch. Until this is fixed, you shouldn't use this skill. But once they do, it might be the best basic generator the Necromancer has. Now for everything that I'm about to say to make sense, you need to understand a couple interactions between Decompose and the Ring X-Falls. X-Falls Lucky Hit ability specifically triggers when you have a damage over time effect applied, and it has a 50% base for it to happen. So if you could get really powerful damage over time effects with high lucky hit chance, you can proc it all the time. And this is the basic conceit of the Infinimus build in season two. We're tending to use corpse explosion. And just for people who haven't watched any of my lucky hit videos previously, basically what this says is that once per corpse explosion, you may trigger X falls. It doesn't matter that the fact that Corpse Explosion deals damage twice per second, and it does that damage over six seconds, so it technically has 12 procs when you're talking about something like Hued Flesh to be able to generate corpses. For x Falls, it's per skill activation. Now, obviously, we have a ton of overlapping abilities here. We have Corpse Explosion, we have Shadow Bone Storm, we have Blood Soaked Aspect on our Blood Mist, but we could stack even more and potentially generate even more corpses if we were to swap over to Decompose. Now, Decompose plays a little bit interestingly with Lucky Hit Chance. Decompose is a channeled skill. That means that basically every second it has an opportunity to trigger Lucky Hit abilities like X Falls. For Huge Flesh, it can trigger on every single damage instance twice per second, just like any other dot. But Decompose with X Falls checks every single second. It can only happen once per second. Now, the best part about Decompose is it actually has the same Lucky Hit Chance as Corpse Explosion. So as decomposes generating corpses and our sacrilegious ring is automatically consuming those corpses, we can be triggering X falls off the corpse explosion and the decompose triggers. But I wanted to get a better idea of how often decompose actually triggers lucky hit. And that's when I started to run into some really interesting interactions that you probably have never come across because one, you're probably not using decompose, but two, channeled skills are really weird mostly because you don't have to channel them at all. Now for the second part to make sense, I'm gonna bring it back over to these training dummies and kind of show you what I'm talking about here. If you do not have Hued Flesh on the board at all, both Decompose and Reap can still generate corpses if you're using the Acolyte's Reap or the base Decompose. So if I were to show you these two skills side by side, it's very easy for me to outline what's happening. I have a target, I use Reap, and it generates a corpse. Now my ring is automatically gonna attack everybody, so let's go ahead and take off the rings as well, because we'll come back to these bad boys. And then decompose, which if I'm using the aspect that allows it to target multiple creatures, can generate multiple corpses at the same time. The cool part about this is that if we then put back on our ring, that automatically eats the corpses, and I just sit here decomposing, you'll notice that we can start outputting a ton of damage over time. And if you watch closely, you can watch multiple Shadow Blight procs and you could watch multiple X-Fall procs. If I was to put my ring back on, and I'll just kind of stand here, 
but every time that lightning goes off and you see those 2 million damage procs, that's what we're looking at. So it seems like a really natural auto include on the build. It probably helps with speeding up density farming, the thing that the wand version of Infinimist tends to do a little bit worse than the Black River version of the build, but we would get to keep all of our amazing boss kill speed. That's when we start running into problems. I'm standing here decomposing against a single target with my X falls on. We'll get an idea of how often it procs. So there it procced one time. A couple more seconds are going by here. Remember, it only has about a 29.5% chance to proc once per second. And there we go, we got another one. And then a third one right there at the end. So not the worst, pretty consistent proccing. And considering Reap is not a damage over time ability, while it could generate corpses for us, it can't proc X-Falls. We're not getting that double dip by wearing this ring as well and being able to consistently churn out all of these free procs. And this is the thing that I thought was really going to push our boss kill speed over the top, because my generator is now making corpses at a faster rate. My generator is proccing lucky hit and it's amazing, it's super powerful, right? Mm, wrong, sadly. It turns out that being able to spam Corpse Explosion is still going to be the best way of proccing Lucky Hit, because even though our Decompose could proc it once per second, you saw how infrequently it was doing it. And every time we're sitting there holding down Decompose, we're not casting Corpse Explosion. And the Corpse Explosions are doing all this damage in the background on top of having overlapping stacking ability to proc the rank. But that's when I asked the question, is there any way to speed up Decompose? Is there any way to make it better? And there absolutely is. You spam the ability instead. What happens if I spam the ability? Now it's gonna look a little bit wonky. I recommend watching this buff right here. This is the Reaper's Pursuit. And every time I stop channeling and start rechanneling, you'll notice that resets very quickly. Look at it down there on the skill bar. It is resetting multiple times per second. And it's because you can spam it multiple times per second. And if you're looking at how often X-Falls Ring is proccing, if you sit there and you do the math, it ends up proccing about twice as often. Now, how is it possible that by spamming it, doing the same number of damage ticks per second, we're able to get more often X-Falls proccing than just channeling it. It comes down to how the logic of channel skills work. And you know it wouldn't be a Macro Bio Boy video if I didn't open up an Excel sheet. Now I promise this one is pretty simple. The numbers that you need to look at. Here's our chance of proccing X-Falls Ring off of Decompose. When we were channeling it over a full minute, so 60 seconds of channeling, we got 10% proc rate, which is a little bit lower than the near 30% proc rate that we're supposed to get. If you were to look at our spamming rate, we got 16%, so that's based off of a single minute of data. That's not really very valuable data, right? We need a lot more data. So we went and did it again. And I'll go ahead and pull back the curtain here. I did it a whole bunch, and I just kept getting these exact same results, but I just wanted to show you multiple data sets here. For our second minute of proccing, we procced it all of eight times while channeling, giving us a whopping 0.6% proc rate. Again, much lower than 30% that we were expecting. And then while spamming it, we procced it 16 times, literally double the amount of times. Now, the numbers here don't quite look right. It's because originally I actually thought it was per damage tick, right? If I am holding it down for one second, I have two damage ticks. That means I have two opportunities to proc it per second. So I considered it based off of 120 instances. But if I were to take this number and actually only base it off of 60 seconds, 60 instances chance to proc, our proc chance gets much, much closer to the expected 30% chance here. And then if I were to do the same over here, while it's still higher, obviously we're doing the same math, so it's still half as often with channeling. So literally by spamming the skill, you can double its lucky hit proc rate. And it kind of makes sense. While channeling, it is checked either on the first damage instance or the second damage instance. So if it procs on the first damage instance while channeling, it won't proc on the second one. Meanwhile, if you are spamming it, even though we are applying it the same amount of instances per second, they are each their own individual read of that second. So the first one can proc, and then because I've started another channel, the first one can proc again. Right there is the key to making Decompose the best proccing tool for X-Falls, considering you can spam it twice per second. And theoretically, with enough attack speed, you could even reduce the animation length in the interruption flag so that you could 
theoretically apply it three times per second. Now, I haven't gotten enough attack speed on the build to be able to prove that. Channeling skills work a little bit weird with attack speed, but this brings us all the way back to the vampiric powers where I'm trying to use Ravenous. Because not only is just Ravenous good and potentially able to bring us over the next breakpoint, but it then means every time that we proc Lucky Hit, we can spam our corpse skills faster. We can spam corpse tendrils and get into blood mist faster, bone storms up faster, etc. etc. If I told you nothing else, basically what it means is that decompose can truly be used for single target damage because spamming it allows us to proc X Falls Ring which with all of our buffs up is doing like four to eight million damage even in tier 100 nightmare dungeons. But decompose doesn't generate corpses. I'll go ahead and let that sink in there. Decompose doesn't generate corpses from hued flesh. Of course, we could sit there and channel it to generate corpses, but you have to channel for 1.5 seconds before it actually creates a corpse. You'll notice that if I spam cast it, it never channels for the full 1.5 seconds. So the skill can't generate corpses that way. But that's fine. We'll go ahead and put on Hued Flesh. Hued Flesh says that your damage has a chance to generate a corpse. We have a really high lucky hit chance here. This is going to be double diverse bosses. It'll be easy peasy. Well, if you remember the video footage that I showed you, you probably weren't paying too close of attention to it. I wasn't generating corpses. But let me go ahead and show it to you. I'm even going to throw in the aspect that says it hits three targets simultaneously. And I'm going to spam. I'm not even going to look. Dead sure that it's not triggering. You go ahead and you let me know when you're bored of me spamming this for long enough where it actually fulfills the need that you know. Actually, look at that damage that we're doing. Wow. Jesus. This is against the boss training dummies too, so that's pretty impressive. Are you bored yet? Here, let me do it for a few more seconds. Yep, no editing tricks here. Huge flesh. Decompose doesn't generate corpses for whatever reason. The weirdest bug I've ever come across. A bug that I'm pretty sure nobody has ever come across because you're probably expecting that the corpses being generated from you actually channeling and then off of multiple corpses, etc was doing the job for you. Now here's the wild part. You'll notice that I can take out this point from Acolyte's Reap and I can walk over here and give it enough time if I were to attack this monster for long enough. Pretty low chance. This is the issue with Reap. You can typically only refer to its ability to generate a corpse based off of its triggered effect. But Reap will eventually create a corpse. Even though its lucky hit chance is super low, I think my Reap, yeah, 25% chance based off a of 12% chance. I basically had like a 3% chance to generate a corpse there. But Reap, even without Acolyte's Reap, will trigger Lucky Hit Hued Flesh and will generate you corpses. The thing that we desperately need against bosses to be able to ramp up our damage, get them staggered as fast as possible, and then begin benefiting from all the crazy crit damage that we do with X-Falls. So where does that leave us? Well, first and foremost, Decompose is theoretically a wildly powerful tool for this build. I noticed that against things like corpse piles, where you kind of just sat there waiting for Bone Storm or Blood Mist to come up, you can proactively spam Decompose to trigger X Falls Ring even with nothing else going on. So it allows us to drastically increase our kill speed against those scenarios with structures or really tanky elite monsters where you ran out of corpses, there weren't mobs near it, etc. Against boss monsters, it's still a wildly powerful tool for being able to apply X Falls as well. The moment that you stagger them on top of all the corpse explosions that are already going, if you're actually generating corpses, you can spam decompose as an additional single target burst tool. But until decompose works with huge flesh, there's basically no world where you can actually put it onto the build and gain a greater efficiency out of it. And that sucks because the cool part about this decompose aspect as well is that if it were generating corpses, when you're moving in on huge tanky suppressor elites where you don't have enough corpses to be able to make it work, you don't have to sit there floundering like you typically do on the Infinimus build in those weird scenarios where just not enough corpses were made. You can just sit there and spam gun them down. The X falls will proc off of each other. It can hit all three targets simultaneously, and then they can all explosion off of one another. And the damage output is really, really impressive. But if it's not gonna work for bosses, it doesn't really have a point on the build right now. I'm 
pretty upset about all of this because I was finally willing to just like throw away all of my preconceptions, right? You gotta have Reap, you gotta be using Howl from below, uh, there's no way you could use Black River, uh, even this Wall, I love using this in speed farming, which is what I'm doing right now. But being able to have like a swap back over to my focus means I could use this for the dungeon pushing part and then this for the single target. I was completely reinventing like my entire approach to playing the build to eco out all these wild efficiencies. And decompose again is simultaneously way too powerful for the build. And maybe even your ability to trigger a lucky hit twice if you spam a channeled skill isn't intended. But it should definitely be triggering lucky hit chance to generate a corpse off of huge flesh and for whatever reason it isn't. Now, I've already reported the bug to the devs. Hopefully it's something that gets picked up. Hopefully it's not next season. It would be cool if this thing just worked the way that it intended to. But let me leave you off with this, because it's not all doom and gloom. I would like to challenge you, the viewer. Have you had a build that you've been playing the exact same way because it just works? And have you really sat down and asked the question, does it work as good as it could? Is there a way for me to optimize this differently? Do I need to change my expectations? Is there something I'm not doing that if I were to sit down and test it out, might work a lot better? I haven't seen anybody report this decompose bug previously because it's such a wild use case. This niche weird little use case where trying to abuse it in this different way Turns out that we find out that it's broken. Let me know down in the comments if you have anything else, some interesting interaction, something that you don't think that anybody else is really looking at, has considered, or has tested far enough. I'd love to hear about it. As always, thank you so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit subscribe on the channel. It helps me out a ton. I think we just cracked 37,000 uh, subscribers which you might be like, oh, it's not like a big number. That's a big number. We were at like 33,000, I think about a month ago. So thank you so much to all the new viewers. I really appreciate you being here. If you haven't already as well, go ahead and throw a like onto the video just to keep showing YouTube that we like this kind of stuff and we want to see more of it. And as always, I hope that this video helped you out and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.